an apple juice for Isaac. Right. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. How goes it? We're here on a Friday. It is almost the last Friday. That's real dark now. Yeah, That's like the night. That's where it's normally at. Let's take a nap. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right. So, um, continuing the saga of Denny has left me and I don't know what to do. And we're doing things. No, it's great. So, we were going to do one thing and then we said moccasins and then we decided that no, we weren't going to do moccasins. That is true. We're going to do a Southwest belt pattern that I made a few months ago. Yeah. And then he tooled out some examples of them, and they look like this. And they've been sitting on Tony's desk for a while. Uh, let me let me get that a little closer for you guys. Look at that. Why do we have a black line for everything? That's fun. Wee. It's a black line right here. You guys like it? It's real nice. I don't know what that is. See, it's our end of the year stripe. I wonder if the <clears throat> camera has tape on it. Uh, anyway, here's what they Anyways, look like. Yeah, so um, this is one. This is the belt without blank. We had Jenny over and laser laser it out because Liz was going to start doing it by hand, and yeah, she was I, like, that "I started of... this, and I was like, this is going to be real hard to keep symmetrical, and so I gave up this many diamonds and edge patterns in, and I went to our fantastic laser department, and I was like, Jenny, can you help me? And she said, Yes, I can help you. So she did, and she got the whole thing lasered out, so now I don't have to um, trace anything. So, so Denny number did, one to get a laser. So Denny did this based off of the things that I came up with, and now Liz is going to do something even different. Yeah, and if you guys would like to also do this, you can find the pattern, right, Tony? Uh, that camera might be a... Oh, wow, that'd be broken. Do well, we can whack turn, it one too many times with a piece of it, leather? We can turn it off and turn it back on again. That camera is prone to it abuse. Gets, it gets hit a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I sent it to Justin. I don't know whether I sent it to him in time to get into the description. But it should be on Control V. <laughs> I hope. Uh, yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, so it's like three segments of the pattern. Um, so that you can... If you're fancy and you can print it onto tracing paper, you can just print it straight onto your tracing paper and then trace from there. Or you can print it on regular paper, trace it onto tracing paper, and then trace it onto the belt. Or you can probably use the file if you do have a laser to laser it out. We check the dock belt. on. It's still turned off. We check the dock on the Twitch one. So I can start on cutting. the Twitch one and see if um, the chat dock is there. Thanks. And Tony was so kind to come in today. I didn't know that he had taken today off, but he's still here. You always just show up, you know? Yeah. He's I always do. he's always here. Just always here. Just always here. I get here until I leave. <laughs> Alright, let me adjust. Huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> No. No, I do. You know what? I think I'm going to strop this little guy. You're good. You can leave it there, I think. That'd be just good. I'm probably going to really not oh, enjoy the carving this belt. Oh, yeah, we moved. Oh, now there's two of us. We're in the middle. That's a don't even, it's I like don't that know. video I posted last night. I don't even know what Maybe to I'm say. just going to... Let's If we turn it off one more time, let's see what happens when we come back on. Maybe it'll be moved to this side. We might have a new kaleidoscope feature on our lives. Let me just try unplugging oh, them. And, we got some problems. Well, well it's, it's off now. No, that's three. <laughs> mm. Maybe your computer's funky. Well, like a good. brass monkey. Um, you know what? Today's going to be trial and error, guys. I'm going to work on tooling this belt. You have the pattern. I got some tools here. We're going to have some fun. Show that Denny used a Barry King Southwest tool inside the diamond. Between the big diamonds, what tool did... Leather Outlaw D1... 
Oh, I'm just not even You're doing still talking. it. Okay. Still talking. So Did you want to know? Only, guys. <laughs> That's a really cool pause of me right there. That's fun. Um, did you want to know what was inside the diamond or between? You said between. I think he just carved this little thing. I can't show it to you. Maybe it's a stamp. I don't know. Oh, hi. If he did carve it, I'm impressed. So like this little, this little guy here, it almost looks like it's carved, but they're pretty good. What's the? Like this, is this, did he carve that? That I believe is a carve and then the little dot. He just the put the stamp in? He did the Maybe circle, it's a really. stamp. Let me go look at on his desk. Okay. I kind of just thought he carved it, but now that I look at them, they're very It's even. probably a very king. Uh, try four again, Justin. Hey! I turned everything off and turned it back on again. It worked! IT for the win. Yay! Look at us go. Internet Tony, that's what IT stands for. <laughs> yeah, Tony's going to go see if he can figure out what's between the diamond, because I don't know. All right, I am not using Herman Oak today, and I'm probably going to regret it, but I wanted to try to hydro dip this once I was done. And so the Herman Oak, I've learned, is not great for the hydro dipping, marbling, whatever you want to call it. Really? Yeah, because it's too full of air. It's too fluffy. It's too fluffy. And all the air wants to make all the bubbles. And I was able to prevent a lot of bubbles by wetting the Herman Oak first. Oh, this is awful to carve. Um, so I would just like, I would spray down my piece of Herman Oak before I dipped it. And I was able to get away from a lot of bubbles because sometimes if you just put it in completely dry, like the, the, the leather has so much air in it that it just... Like, when you pulled it back out of the solution, you could just see this bed of bubbles that had pushed out from putting it into the solution. It was it was wild. And so I started spraying it down, and that helped prevent a lot of the bubbles because I just, you know, removed the air and replaced it with water. Um, so there wasn't it, – it helped, but it still didn't prevent all the bubbles. And so then I was talking to Stacy, and he typically uses the import – which is like lighter anyways in color, so you can you can get more vibrant paint solutions. Um, and Jenny did have some issues keeping the distance here the same on the laser, like it's the same on this end and it's the same on the back end of the belt, but in the middle, because leather is a little bit squirrely, it got a little bit squirrely. But I was like, you know what? That's probably about as good as I was going to do with the pattern anyway, so it's fine. I guessed. Did you get it right? Raven's Hammer. First time check. Good morning. Oh, it's working for you. That was the first time I could not get it to work yesterday. Good. Justin was really concerned about you. <laughs> now they can live shop. I also feel like this is just already too dry, and I feel like I sprayed it down a lot. Yeah, I don't feel like you were cutting at all. I guessed right on what I thought Denny, the tool Denny used was. Now I'm going to see if we have it. Great news. We don't. What is it? It's a V404. What happened, Justin? Oh. Ah. So it's... That's the tool that he used. So he just went... Boop, boop. One time there. Uh, let's see. Go to that two. Oh. It's a V404? Yeah. That sounds like something we should have. 
So just once that way and once that way. And they put a dot in the middle. And I did bring that. You brought the dot? I brought I brought my cedar. Let me see if it's an if it's just out of stock. Let's see. Anybody have any big Friday plans? Hey, can you move that? Will you let me move it? Thanks. Mm -hmm. No results. Maybe it's an old craft tool. It says craft tool. It does say craft tool on it. The bridal leather and russet I bought from... SLC is going to make some campaign chair parts. Campaign chairs? Yeah. What are you campaigning for? Chairs. You're campaigning in chairs. It's a real sit-down kind of job. <laughs> <laughs> Tools, stamping and carving, stamping tools, and then I'm going to go to Vayner. Hmm. Odin's just going to be the Grinch. Okay, so you're just making a specific kind of campaign chair. Or a specific kind of chair that is called a campaign chair. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't see that anybody carries that tool anymore in the United States. I wonder if you could make it out of something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you can get it. It was probably something that we used to carry. Let's see if Ivan carries it. We should probably get it. Do they? Mm hmm. Yep, so Ivan.tw, four ninety nine. V404. Amazon carries it. Got a saddlebag laser to leather using the SB pull up leather, and that's some tough stuff. <laughs> Think boot manufacturer. Thanks for the subscribe there, Cobra Reptile. That's fun. Did you talk about sending this off to Sergey? No. To making it into a wheel? I'm sorry I mentioned it. That I'm crafting. It's your job to talk. Yeah, no, but sometimes you don't like the things I have to say. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. We have quite a bit of that russet. 
um, the, the bridal russet. That's beautiful stuff. The devil shoulders. Mm -hmm. A few Decembers ago, I made a purse for my wife out of it. Does she love it? She doesn't carry it anymore. She carries a different one I made for her. <laughs> this is just real tedious stuff, y'all. Maybe I'll do a section and then I'll just tool it. Can we start over? We could. It wouldn't be much to start over to. Yeah. Except for some technical situations. You want to see the Blue Man group performing and Liz being froze. <clears throat> Did you bring the push babbler? Nope. I feel like this border that Denny would push bevel on it. No, I mean, he beveled. He, he yeah, beveled. but he's only doing nine inches. You're doing a whole bell. That is true. It was these um these diamonds are big enough that if you want to you can use half inch stamps in them and you can stamp names. So I did bring a stamp set. You should be able to. Whose name are you gonna stamp in there? I don't know. We can just leave it all loosey goosey, and on the twenty ninth we can give it away and stamp somebody's name in it. Well, that seems silly. Okay. Turns out we're not gonna give it away. We're gonna type Liz in it, <laughs> and by type I mean stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and by Liz, I mean Liz. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, we do have an announcement for our giveaway next week, though. Oh, so, we do. We do have an announcement. We do. Announcement to make, and Liz is crafting, so I'm going to do it. Okay. That way, because she's not talking. The person that won the backpack. Back with the years in, month, well, months ago. Hey, I'm talking. You're okay. supposed to be crafting. Okay. That had the picture Jasper in it. They didn't claim it. It's under easy. It's behind us. Oh, it's behind me. It's on the dark wall. It's not her. Oh, there's water in that area. This backpack. That backpack. The person didn't claim it. So what do you do with unclaimed stuff? I don't know. Let's give it away again. <laughs> I guess they really didn't want to win. They just thought, they just wanted to enter. Let's see. Your customer service is great, says Vanessa. The lady who helped change my data in the account and helped me order the leather correctly was outstanding. Yeah, they are. I'm very fond of our customer service team. I'm not sure what Dean's talking about. Not much good shipping from them to me, Vanessa. I don't know what you mean, Dean. You buy stuff and we ship it to you. After it leaves the door, it's no longer under the care of Springfield Leather. We can only do so much. And then hopefully it gives gets to you. And then when it gets to you, you get what you ordered. And if you don't, then you can call and the customer service will fix it. Hopefully we don't mess up. Yeah, no, we already said that, Dean. We already said the customer service was great. I was referring to what not much good shipping from them to me, Vanessa. I was trying to figure out what your problem is so we can try to fix it. Because customer service is what we do great. Picked out good fork, a little something something this morning. Liz did. Hey Cynthia, it's it's not it's not an opal, but I think you'll I think you'll like them. Your stuff goes to New Jersey first, and then here to Emmett. Let me see if I can call FedEx and see if they'll quit taking your stuff to New Jersey first. See if I can find their number.
Like every, every single time? Customer service for FedEx. It's just hit zero a bunch of times. Yeah, I'd like to talk to a real person. Yeah, this is Tony with Springfield Leather. You might not know me, because there's lots of packages that get shipped throughout the world. Uh, but I got Dean here on live chat, and he would like his packages to quit going to New Jersey first. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that Dean. Uh-huh. Okay. Dean, they knew who you were. They said they would try the best that they could. <laughs> I gotta call USPS. Dang, I, let me call USPS. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> They're probably off today. It's a government agency. Let me let me tell you about that post office. We didn't even know we had a post office rep for like the first 12 years we were in business. Like we didn't even know that was like a thing that the post office did. But it is. And we do have one. I guess on Twitch, we could add all the chat to the screen so they could have all the chat. If they really want it. Are they feeling left out of the... Well, Pyro is just saying it's kind of confusing without the other because they can't see the YouTube okay. chat. And we just mention, we just reference it all the time. Pyro, they, they feel the same way about you. <laughs> all right. I, I'm sure it's not funny to you. Dean, but I just don't know that I have any resolution. You could be like Isaac. Isaac ordered something the other day. Where did it come from? Where did it come out of, Isaac? Uh, Minnesota. So it started in Minnesota. Funny enough is where we're talking about. And instead of going south, it went to Alaska. <laughs> it went far, far away. So you... You could imagine that. Your stuff could go to Alaska. <laughs> hey, Darnell. First time chat popping in there. I just wonder who that is. Who is that? I don't know. Hey, Darnell. I... Oh, Allie! I was going to say, did she figure out how to use Twitter? But it's now? Dameron. Oh, yeah, she's... Dameron. This bag will have rolled edges along with a zipper, zipper, zipper section, and the middle gusset connects to the zipper portion. The first for me. They said, nope. Not yet. Are you related to our Darnell? Any of our Darnells? I had something the other day that I ordered. It came from Amazon, and it was coming from um, Pennsylvania. So it went from Pennsylvania, and it went to Kansas City, mm -hmm. and then it went to Memphis, Ooh. and then after Memphis, it went out um, at Tucson or somewhere in Arizona, and then it came back to Kansas City, and then it finally came to Springfield. I had a $4,000 check. Springfield, Pittsburgh, back to Springfield, Pittsburgh, back to Springfield. And it could still be making that trip, but we just canceled it and wrote a new one and sent it out. So I don't know yeah. where it ever ends up. But just a few terms off the way. Yeah. The second one maybe will have them. Yeah, Kansas City is appropriate. Kansas City is the right stop for packages oh. coming to Springfield. They always go to Kansas City or Earth City or whatever they want to call it, and then it comes down to Springfield. A. Darnell says, do I have to admit to that? I guess you don't have to. Be we'll just, related? We'll just never know who you are. If you don't tell us, then we can't harass Rusty. Which is a pastime for us. I ordered a chisel from Singapore on Friday and got Monday morning. Nice. Nice. Yeah, sometimes everything goes just fine. <laughs> 
I sent a package to who I thought was my friend last Friday, but really I sent it to myself. And then I got it on Monday and realized I needed to reship it back out. And she got it either yesterday or today because she texted me this morning. So. Oh, the shipping woes. That, that one was on me. Yeah, no, but everything, everything else. Yeah. Oh, so back to hydro dipping. So what I learned is that the import leather is plated a lot harder um, typically than the Herman Oak, which is why it doesn't tool as well because the leather is already, like it just doesn't have a lot of give left. So it is a lot better to dip it because it doesn't have any air in it. I'm really, <laughs> yeah. I'm really confused by Randy's comment though. Yeah. He's watching on his fire stick, but he doesn't know how to comment yet. Well, and that's his comment. <laughs> Seems like he's figured it out. Hi, Randy. Yeah, you were as confused as me because I read that. And I was like, am I stupid? Am I stupid? I mean, I am, but... Uh, let's see here. What's wrong? You may do something? Oh, this one. I was looking for this one. Okay, there you go. I was just looking to see what side he beveled, and he beveled on the inside. Side bevel. Oh, the triangulars? Mm-hmm. Randy is watching on his TV and commenting, commenting on his phone. Yeah, I don't, unless you have, like, a keyboard hooked up to your TV. That sounds like a terrible... Yeah, I'm not sure that you can... Uh, comment. Uh, there's somebody else that does live shopping, and they do the same thing. They comment on their phone, but they watch on their TV. Dean has no problem with us. Once it leaves our control, it's not us that's the problem. I mean, we can try to help you, and we will try, but there's Liz usually not ordered, a lot we can do. Liz orders from Crimson Hide. I do. Ooh, is that the package that you got mm -hmm. from Singapore? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I used all their stuff last night. I was hand sewing a sheath. I'll tell you what. We're no longer going to ship Dean stuff. I'm just going to take it up there. It's going to be my new job. To drive to Dean's house? Drive to Dean's house. At Terry's house is closer, but it's the price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> Steve has a beach shouting at the TV. Maybe just keep yelling at the TV. <laughs> hey, TV! <laughs> Comment! My wife always gets mad at me for yelling at the TV. It's usually when sports ball's on. She's like, you know they can't hear you. And I'm, yeah, I, I'm aware that they can't hear me. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm going to yell at them. My husband gets mad at me for yelling at the traffic. They also don't listen. Oh, traffic is terrible. Sorry, did I get in the way? You. I didn't know if I leaned forward and got in the way of the camera. I think he's maybe the other side now. Scan QR code. Question mark. I'm not sure that I can help you. You you swipe up on the camera icon on your your screen on your phone. You hover over a QR code. It'll pop up a little box that says, would you like to go to this link? And you say, yeah. And it'll take you somewhere. Probably, hopefully somewhere magical. Oh, how are we going to get... Dean, as much as you pick on us, sometimes you just have to take it for a while. <laughs> Especially when I'm on this side of the camera. You can get to hear it in my voice. Otherwise, it'll be on the keyboard. How do we get entered for the, uh, t the t TV? How do we get entered for the TV? I don't know. How about the backpack? So... We're, we're looking at the names. Justin still has all the names of the people that entered the first time. And 
I think we're going to draw out of a hat. Yeah, we're going to take that list of names. So if you entered back in the summer, whenever we did that, um, we're going to we're going to draw from that batch. But I think we're going to narrow it down a little bit to our loyal, loyal customers who are always with us because we feel like it's such a good. Like, I can't even believe that person just like they never responded. We tried to reach out there. Weren't, they weren't even a customer of ours. Or they I don't know. I was dumb. So we're not doing miscellaneous people again. Uh, I but don't know. we are, you have to be present to win. So that is going to be a caveat. So if you already entered, awesome. And then join us next Friday for the giveaway. You need to be watching to win. Denny so. will be here. Denny will be here. So you guys should come join anyways. So hopefully everybody's got a little bit of time. Or if you're in the office, oh, just turn it on leather. for everybody. I'm sure everybody... Laser to leather was asking. Everybody wants... Justin's writing your name, your name down. No, their name's already on. Oh, Justin said your name's already in there. Justin's check, checking his list uh, a second time. Twice. Checking it twice. Yeah, so you picked up on it. <laughs> going to be closed on Monday. <laughs> We're also going to be closed on the next Monday. But don't worry, if you, sh if you order something before the 27th, it'll ship before January the 2nd. And if you come any other day except for Mondays, we will be open. And Sundays, like normal. Yeah, and Sundays. You're on it. Yep. You can take a 72 mile drive and get here. And our drills will be open today and tomorrow. Closed on Sunday. Closed on Monday. And then we'll open again on Tuesday all the way through the next Saturday. And then we'll be closed on Sunday and then Monday. Geometric lines suck to bevel. That's what I have to say right now. Laser said if we're checking twice, all they're going to get is a bag of coal. <laughs> hey, look, just put it under pressure. It'll turn into diamonds eventually. That's right. Tony knows how that goes. <laughs> what did you do, Isaac? Isaac got coal because he snooped in the presents. Did you end up getting the presents, or did you just end up with coal one year? I got presents, but the one that I was very excited about got sent back. I was very oh, oh, man. They taught you a good lesson, didn't they? I still do it every year. <laughs> Moms and pops. I've done it this year already, actually. What are you getting? Uh, I'm getting one hoodie. One hoodie. That I'm very excited about. I like that one. I it's was, a good hoodie. It's a good hoodie. And it's probably already been sent back. No, they don't watch. Isaac doesn't tell his family about us because... I did accidentally find one. I was working on my European mounts and I opened the door and there was a fishing pole. And I was like, oh. I closed the door real quick. I was like, I don't think I'm supposed to see that. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know what is going. A harness leather messenger bag. For the laptop gear is on Vanessa's list. I need to sneeze. How's it going for you? It's not going very well. Like I need you, to, but it's not happening. You know when you got that tickle and it just doesn't happen? Yeah, that's terrible. Beveling geometrics. I mean, at least I didn't have to trace it, because that would still be happening. Mm -hmm. It's very touch and go right now. <laughs> I wonder if I can cut this whole... this straight edge. I should practice my swivel knifing. Yeah, I'm not using that. There you go. How is it using the laser lines? Just fine. 
It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I don't. Once I'm done, you won't be able to see him. She did it real faint. She pretty good. She pretty good, laser lady. Yep. If you don't have a laser and you do want customized items, I mean, it's a little too late at this point, but, you know, for in the future, that is a service that we offer. Laser to Leather has a competition happening in Kentucky and going to be driving by us with this big trailer with a UV laser. He wants to sh stop by and show off his gear. Nice. Come Monday through Friday. But not this Monday. Or next one. Yeah, if you come Saturday, there won't really be too many people to show it off to, because only the front of the house is open. David Bill says, I gift myself every Thursday. <laughs> yeah, we should just call live shopping like the treat yourself escapades. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I told Tony today, I was like... I want our own tape, which isn't going to happen because we have a ridiculous, like when you buy custom tape, you have to buy a ridiculous amount of tape to get custom tape. And so we have crates on crates on crates of SLC yellow tape. Um, so it would be a little, plus we'd have to have like a dedicated tape machine, a dedicated shipper just for our stuff. So it doesn't make any sense. But. Well, that's coming along quite nicely. Yeah, actually, I'm not. I'm not why is it? Why is it not want to focus? Is this on manual focus? Hello. Well, it's not on manual focus. It's, uh, I'm this one. Oh. Feature, so it Anyways, look here. It looks good. This is a good distance. It wants to be. Yeah. That's really, that's not too bad. 38 minutes and I've done a whole, this many inches. <laughs> oh, I'm, this, I'm setting this one differently. Okay. Uh, if you had some fun, like, little 3D stamps, like some of the little, I don't know, we have, like, the music note or we have all sorts of different little ones that would fit inside the diamonds. And you could do people's initials. Maybe I'll make it for my sister, because she lives in the south now. Well, is it west, too, or just the south? It's the west. Because this won't work if it's only in the south. It's the Alamo. It west. Well, don't, for, don't forget don't, the Alamo. Don't forget the Alamo. Let's see. Luna, hello. Why is that a thing? Why is it a thing to not forget the Alamo? Like we don't say, don't forget 9 11. I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> you might not. That's kind of like the signature phrase that says, never forget. Randy just opened his kangaroo Is that we it? sent him. He said, it's great. Cool. That's what Tony the Tiger can bring to the table. You have to admit, the Alamo is slightly, I shouldn't say underwhelming, but they need to figure out a better line for it. Because when you wait in line for that long, you kind of. All right, well, I still have 20 minutes, so I guess I'll keep going. Okay. Oh, I need that now. There you go. There's one in the drawer. <laughs> Hello. How are you? What's up? Can I help you? Thanks. I'm busy. <laughs> Never too busy for Luna. Did it's you a... read any of the stuff? That's the Alamo Isaac? Oh, that's what I'm 
I'm saying, like, I understand the significance of it, but I don't know why, but just in my mind, I'm thinking, like, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, well, I guess it's the amount of time it takes. Like, you're waiting in line forever, and then you walk in, and you're like, hey, that's it. And you just kind of stand there and go, well. Are there things to look at while you're waiting in line? Not really. Like, can you look at the outside of the building? Yes. Yeah. And there's a big tree out back. There was a dude uh, with a megaphone that was screaming to people. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. And then I drove one of those like electric scooters all over the place. Head on down to the river walk. We did that. Rode on a boat. Very hot. Still Texas. I don't expect dirty lakes in Texas. So Jackie says, remember the Alamo, remember... They defeated Santa Ana. But people only remember the first part. Thanks, guys. I knew there would be some history buffs out there. Or fast Googlers. I don't think that's true, Dean. <laughs> Dean said he was 28. <laughs> when Maybe he, he meant he was 28 when the Alamo happened. What what year did the album happen? Eighteen something. Jackie. Yeah, one day I'm going to do the most ridiculous project of all time and just, like, make a physical timeline of, I don't know, maybe I'll start at, like, the pyramids or something to present day. Because I always get a little mixed up in my timelines on things. And then you think that things are, like, far apart or, like, that, like, things in the world like you learn about you know like the pyramids or whatever but you don't really learn about like whatever things are happening and so like to see the timeline like I just want I just want to wrap like around my house in the timeline of of the worlds just starting at you know some point in time where I'm just like okay this is just the timeline of existence yeah I think it would be a lot of fun I think the closer we got to now like my scale would have to change because so many things started happening, you know, that you you have a lot more. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess a lot of things happen. I think in a lot of things happen. Yeah, it, there's just more information. But now. things didn't move as quickly, and there wasn't as many people for them to be happening to. Right. We also have lots of ways to document happenings. Yes. Instead of just stone tablets and pyramids. Yes. Yeah. 
But Did you say you have braided hair? Yeah. Doesn't even look like him. Poor facial hair. I mean, he showed me his ID picture. He looked the same. He said he was 18. No, I was 21. Oh, okay. So that was just a minute ago. Nowadays, that's still... Gosh, man. Just trying to rub the back of your hair in my face. You know, it's it's fading quickly. I can't wait to work today. The other day, I was at Costco and I was looking at like the age, you know, that you can buy cigarettes and and alcohol. The little sticker that they have at the checkout line, right? And sucks when you're like. Yeah, I was like looking at that and I was like, man. And then I remembered like the guy was like the, the checkout guy. It, it's pretty much the same dude every Saturday when we go to checkout that we get the same guy. Anyways, and uh, he's like, makes you feel old, doesn't it? And I was like, yeah. And then Chris is like, like a few, I don't know, months ago we were, I don't know, with the Brown Derby or something. And uh, they ID'd us and they looked and they were like, oh, your age is in the 1900s. It's fine. <laughs> Like, anything that starts with a nine, I don't even have to look at. In the 1900s. <laughs> Hello, Rusty. Hello. There was a, a Darnell in here. They said that they they wouldn't tell us that they were related to you. A Darnell. That was their initials, A Darnell. A Darnell. Is that somebody that you know? 87. When was Brandon born? He's younger than me. <laughs> My cousin Andrew Darnell is supposed to be here any minute. Well, maybe that was him. Well, he was no, keyboard. He oh, no, no, no. He was just on here. Oh. He was keyboard warder. War. Oh, well, that war, be war, warrior. <laughs> they're, they're saying shh. Yeah, no, he's, he's coming down. Uh, oh, yeah, that's him. Okay. I was going to say, that's <laughs> him. I was gonna say, yeah, no, Andrew's on his Hey, way. Andrew, we got Rusty for you. Say hi. <laughs> that means Katie's driving. It's probably safer for everybody. <laughs> hey, you got a second? I got an idea for a post I want to share with somebody. Whoever. Come on, Andrew, I'm starving. <laughs> they must be going to lunch. What else would you do with Rusty? Always safer. <laughs> I mean, you're either going to eat lunch or your or dinner or breakfast or whatever, or you're going to cook it. So that's right, Andrew. Right, that's. If you're with Rusty, it's going to revolve around food. That's his hobby and his favorite thing to do. Like, what do you like to do? Well, I like to play sports or... No, I like to eat. No, he's going to eat or cook. Absolutely. See? Been around the man for a few years now. Just a few. Just a few. Dang. No, it's like, it's like all of school. Somebody's whole K through 12. Yep. Someone went to kindergarten and graduated high school. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Try not to think about those type of things. Liz, someone likes you. Oh, good for you. Thank you. I feel like she's seen it in person. Maybe, unless we met her the day that I got my big old one, and I wore that pretty much the rest of the time when I was in Tucson. <laughs> ah, I don't get to go this year, which is fine, but I am a little sad about it. I like pestering Kevin and spending his money, but Lindsay will go, so maybe she'll try to keep him in, in budget. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It was just like we've been discussing the upcoming trips because they all happen. You got like the January Wisa show and you got February Tucson. And so we just planned it like literally this week. It happened. No Tucson for Liz. It was last February. <laughs> How was the idea, Isaac? Really 
brilliant idea. Gut and drugs and then it just I want to buy a buffalo robes, robe? buffalo robes. Okay. Buffalo well, robes? Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. You have to be in person. Because cause I don't know if we have a box big enough to ship a robe in. The buffalo hides? Mm -hmm. The fuzzy ones? 20% off of buffalo hides? And they're like $800? Yeah. 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 yeah, we have two buffalo and then a bunch. Use the tip and the first knuckle. What tool am I using? Swivel knife. This is the gold one that we sell. I was going to bring in my leather wranglers and I got it all out and then I left it on my bench last night. And then I thought about it this morning and I was like, Liz, don't forget that. And then I was halfway here and I was like, I forgot that. Liz forgot that. My leather's getting dry. Well, what are we going to do on Wednesday? Round table. Mm, that sounds good. Yep, so round table Wednesday, and then Friday is the giveaway. I think we can take off on Wednesday. Okay. Alrighty. That was fun. I did take off on Tuesday. Did I might you? just take off Tuesday and Wednesday since I didn't take off today. He's going to leave me to fill all of your guys' live shopping orders. Alright. There's what we got. That's what it is. So guys, fill it in however you want to fill it in if you download the pattern. Or don't fill it in. Or paint paint the diamonds. Yeah. Paint the diamonds turquoise. And coral. Put a you could put a um, crystal rivet in the middle mm -hmm. of the diamond. That would be fun. Put a crystal rivet in there and then line it so you cover up the back of that. Um, there's a ton of things that you could do. Once again, probably gonna stamp a name. You could shrink the pattern just a little bit to give yourself a little bit more border on it, and then buck stitch it. Yep. Yeah. All sorts of things. Take the pattern and make it your own. William said that's what he's going to do. Perfect. My hand hurts now. Yep. Well, that was this week. Have a great weekend. Have a great Monday. We won't see you on Monday, so don't come in. Make cheese dip for your family. Be the life of the party. That's what <laughs> I do. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.